Hello, good day to all the Fire Emblem fans. The Fire Emblem Engage game is now out and you can now play it into your PC. So if you're wondering on where to get the game and how to install it and how to set up into your PC, then this is a perfect video tutorial for you because I'm going to show you that. So what you need first is that you will need to have and sold the latest build of user emulator. So for those who do not know, user emulator is a Nintendo Switch emulator that can play Nintendo Switch games into your PC. As long as you haven't installed these files into your user emulator, because user emulator alone cannot boot up a Nintendo Switch game without these files here. So first of all, I'm going to teach you where to get user emulator. So just open a web browser and just type in user emulator and then hit search. UseEmulator.org is their official website, so just click on that, the first result, then go to download button here and you can download for Windows here because I'm using Windows 11, you can do that. If you are using um, Linux, you can just download it here. So for this video tutorial, I'm using Windows 11 22H2 version and I have installed all the latest updates on this OS. And I'm just going to skip the download and installation process because the download and installation process for use emulator is really easy to do and anyone can do it. So I'm going to assume that you have already installed the latest build of user emulator. So what's the next step? The next step is that you boot up user emulator, run it. And once you run it, if this is your first uh, uh, running the emulator app, then you'll be met with an error saying that you will need some certain files installed into your user emulator. So that files are these files here. So these files are the Nintendo Switch case and the Nintendo Switch firmware, which is version 15. You will need, note this, that you will need the latest version 15 in order to play Fire Emblem Gage and all the latest um, Nintendo Switch games. So. As you can see here, I have also the Fire Emblem Engage XEI file, which uh, which is the game for Fire Emblem, so that it will run in user emulator. So if you're wondering where you can get these files here, um, legally speaking, you can only get these files through a modded Nintendo Switch console, meaning you should own a Nintendo Switch console and then you mod it and install a custom firmware in it, because if it has a custom firmware in it, then you can access the Nintendo Switch system files such as the Nintendo Switch keys and the Nintendo Switch firmware. Just copy those files into your PC so that you can have a copy on it and install it into your user emulator. And in order to get Fire Emblem engaged, surely you should own the game, physical copy of the game, and then you boot it up into your uh, Nintendo Switch console, which is modded, and then you digitally back it up into an XE file format, just like mine here. So. If you don't own a Nintendo Switch, or if you have a Switch but don't know how to do all the things that I have said because you don't know how to mod your Nintendo Switch console, I'm just going to save you the hassle and teach you where to get all these files. In order to get all of these files here, I'm just going to leave a QR code here in this part of the desktop, and then just scan it with your QR code reader of your mobile device so that you will be redirected to the download page wherein you can get all of these files. So once you are in that site, approms.com, just go to the middle part of the page and you can get the XEI file format of Fire Emblem Engage. So, and to get the keys and the firmware of the Nintendo Switch firmware and keys, just go to the bottom part of the website so you can get all of these files. So I'm going to assume that you have already downloaded all of these files using the QR code that I have put in the desktop. So the next step now is to install all of these files. To do that, I'm just going to click file here and then open user folder. So the next step now is go to keys folder and open this keys zip file here. Just drag and drop or copy and paste this into this folder. This folder should be empty if this is your first installation. Just close on that now. Go back to file, go to open user folder and then go to the NAND folder here. Go to system folder, go to contents, go to registered. Then open the firmware file here and then just copy these files and then paste it in this folder. Note that this folder should be empty if this is your first installation. You will need the firmware in order to boot up all of the Nintendo Switch games and the latest games that sh should be out. So close in that folder. So now your user emulator is now fully capable of loading and booting up Nintendo Switch games. So what is the next step? The next step now is to optimize your user emulator in order for it to run Fire Emblem Gage. In order to do that, just go to emulation, go to configure, 
and then um, just pause the video and copy my settings from here on out okay so be sure to copy everything in this video so be sure to pause the video so that you can copy now this is for the general tab now go to the system tab just leave it default and should be in American English USA region CPU should be auto in the graphics tab here I'm using OpenGL and, in, and if some games that will not run you will need to use Vulkan okay so be sure to switch on this API settings here so that you'll be able to run on Nintendo Switch games now go to audio set everything to auto and the controls this is better to play Nintendo Switch games with a controller because it is really hard to play using the keyboard keys okay so be sure to use your Nintendo Switch Pro controller or your PlayStation or Xbox controller here it will be detected here and you can just map it up according to your liking and then hit OK now your user emulator can now play Fire Emblem Engage so a little bit of disclaimer I'm gonna show a gameplay of Fire Emblem Engage because we all know that Nintendo is really strict on this kind of content and they don't want anyone to see this in YouTube because um, because this is kind of a uh, dark side of mm -hmm. Nintendo's part and they don't like this kind of content such as the switch emulation scene for PC so if I show you this kind of gameplay of Fire Emblem Engage using using on layer my channel will get into trouble and it might have a high risk of getting deleted and my entire channel being taken down by YouTube so I hope you guys do understand on that so if you have some questions regarding the installation process of Fire Emblem Engage into your PC, then just leave a comment in the comment section below in this video trail. So if you have followed all the steps that I've shown, I can guarantee you that you can play Fire Emblem Engage and all of the previous Nintendo Switch games. So thank you for watching again and please do subscribe to my channel to help me out. And goodbye for now.